What's up everyone, it's Tony here with Nerds Never Sleep, uh, doing another Iron Studios unboxing for you guys today. Um, this time we're gonna go with one of the, I guess one of the old school uh, leaders of the X-Men, I guess I could call her an old school leader now. Um, <laughs> By by today she would be uh, she would be an old school leader um, with Storm now. Uh, pretty sure everybody and their mother is familiar with this character. Uh, she's she was prominent in the comic books um, ever. I, she was she was popular in the comic books ever since like basically they introduced her. Um, she's a little badass with a mohawk, um, and and her portrayal in the cartoon actually. Uh, was very popular as well. So Storm's kind of, uh, she's, she's been one of the off and on again leaders of the X-Men. Her powers are pretty OP um, with her controlling of the weather and the elements and everything. So uh, I was pretty excited to see when Iron Studios announced that she was going to be coming out. I know she's kind of a few releases back now. Um, but I personally wanted to see her in her old school mohawk uh, look, but um, I, I know she wouldn't really fit well with the rest of the theme that they're doing for the um, almost like the '90s X-Men look, um, kind of going more towards the cartoon, the animated series. You know, the one of the best cartoons, American cartoons ever. Um, but I was a little skeptical at first. Because sometimes these all-white costumes don't really translate very well. Um, so, going by how the you know the 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 artwork looks, uh, she's going to be pretty badass. So, fingers are crossed that the the white costume actually turns out as clean and as nice as is depicted. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but so far, every statue that I've done an unboxing for in this line has been 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. They've been amazing pieces. Even the characters like Pyro that I didn't really care about came out so damn good that, you know, it's hard to be nervous, but, but, uh, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> so... We're going to get into this. I'm really excited for Storm. Um, she's just one of the badass women of the X-Men. I mean, she's just awesome. So we're going to we're gonna open her up. I'm going to bring you guys in first, as usual. I'm going to show you guys the box. Ooh, I don't want to shake her too hard. Um, and then we are going to take a look at what is inside. Um, now, side note, I know my audio it sucks again because, again, I did order several different microphones for recording and none of them were working very well. A lot of pings, a lot of buzzing, a lot of just noise. So I got to keep looking, uh, keep, keep get looking into something. So uh, for now, just going to deal with the semi echoey voice here. And uh, I apologize, but we're going to get into checking out Storm now. So enough about me and the microphone troubles. Let's check her out. Okay, so here is a look at the artwork for the box um obviously you can see the front we're gonna have the usual marvel comics bds art scale one tenth so it's the battle diorama series um we've got the actual artwork or the photo of the statue iron studios logo who it is and here we got storm we're gonna go around to the other side here obviously same thing iron studios storm iron studios and again, we're going with the classic blue and yellow colors for this box, showing pretty much that it's one of the X-Men. And here is the full artwork here. So it looks like she's going to be kind of standing on like a, a whirlwind with a bunch of like books. Maybe she's in the uh, reading room or the library um, of the school when, you know, the crap hits the fan. And then here we have the blue with the uh, kind of the, uh, the blended in photo of her from the front. So, a typical fare for the Iron Studios box. And then I will show you, obviously, up top, as usual, uh, we're going to have the X logo and Storm as well. So, I'm um, pretty excited to 
get in and check her out. So let's do that right now. Okay, so got it all out of the box here. I already made my little incisions here. Obviously, top of the box is going to say Iron Studios on it. Always make sure you open from this end. Um, so pretty much we're going to toss this box aside right now. And we're going to get to checking out how Storm looks today. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit for you guys. I'm going to open this up very carefully. Oh, perfect. So, as always, we've got a lot of, uh, I'll bring this a little bit closer for you. We've got a lot of padding, a lot of uh, styrofoam. It's always good. It's always good to keep these things protected. So, let's see. So this is going to be her base. Doesn't look like she's going to be very many pieces. Always a good thing. Another piece of styrofoam jammed in here. So, we'll see what that is protecting. Be very careful with this. I don't want to wreck anything. Oh, and there's actually even a styrofoam chunk up in the top of the whirlwind uh, here. Okay. So, if you notice, they kind of went with like a... It's not all white. It's, um, it's, it's kind of like it an off-white, like a dirty whirlwind, I guess you could call it. But this is looking really cool. Uh, again, you're going to have, with a lot of, with all these, you've got the broken pieces of the floorboards. Um, you know, the books look actually really detailed here. You can see kind of the pages all in here. Um, so this is really cool. Uh, it is semi-translucent. Uh, you can kind of see, I like the, the different color uh, variations in the whirlwind. So this is a very cool base, and it looks like she's going to go into a peg right there in the kind of middle of the whirlwind. So uh, from here, we're going to have the main piece. So her head is not going to be attached by the looks of it. Oh, wow. Okay, that was scary. I thought that was broken for a minute, but it is not, I don't think. Let's see. So again, it looks like the cape is molded on. So there's a lot of stuff here to kind of peel away. Always, always be careful with these. These are pretty fragile. Okay. <laughs> so we made it. And wow. Um, let me move this. Sorry for all that, but... Okay, um, looking at her, just a glance at the body here, she is, that is clean. Um, seam work, everything looks very clean. You can see even here, excuse me, um, there's like a muscle definition in the suit for her her, her torso. Um, the, the sleeves here look like they're flowing nicely. There's no paint blotchies, none of that. Um, you know, the flowiness of her, I, I call it her cloak, but you can call it whatever you want. Cause I know it's attached to her wrists, but, um, everything again, it's white, 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 white costume, but it is very, very cleanly made. Um, I kind of would have liked for them to do what they did with a lot of these characters and made the boots dirty for some reason. I mean, maybe because she's inside of a whirlwind. Uh, she's keeping herself fresh, but the, this suit is tight. It is fresh. It is clean. Um, even the logos here, no, uh, no kind of paint globs or defects. So pretty, pretty cool right there. So I'm gonna actually put her aside while I get the head out and then we'll put her on the base. You know what? Actually, we're going to put her on the base first. That way we don't risk losing the head or anything else. So she's going to plug right into... Sometimes these keys can be a little tricky and when they're inside something, it can definitely be a little bit more of a uh, process here because now you have to fit her inside the whirlwind, right? Yeah. So about there. 
just had to kind of pull away to make sure. So you definitely want to make sure she fits all the way down into there. That peg, I kind of had to wiggle it around a little bit, but she seems very sturdy, very stable. So there's that. There is the body. Now, so far so good. Uh, and now it looks like underneath another styrofoam piece, we're going to have her head. And now, if you notice here, the okay, the head looks really, really well made. Um, the hair looks very well sculpted. And as you can see here, her head is going to have a magnet. Now, I'm going to try to bring you up closer. Hopefully, it doesn't all. But that is gorgeous. Um, again, Iron Studios, with their sculpting with these little tiny pieces, uh, very impressive. I mean, from, from up, 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 close, 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 you can see there's a couple of little little paint things but i mean honestly that's her hair um i'm not going to be complaining about that it looks very clean um the skin looks amazing the eyes i mean the the lips the eyes everything about the face i mean she looks beautiful so we're gonna go right over here i imagine she's going to just kind of magnetize in There she goes. So she's kind of looking downward. As you can see right here, she's kind of looking down. So I'm going to actually, you know what? I'll let you guys see her up close real quick. So this is how she all came together. Again, she's got a magnetized head. So I am going to clear off this and I'm going to bring you guys in. Let you take a closer look at Storm. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of a free camera here. Um, just because I like to be able to kind of move around and get in really close. Uh, first, I'm going to do a little little spinny for you. A little 360 view. Um, and again, uh, if you watch our last video, I did get a motorized turnstile, but uh, <laughs> we had some issues with it. So, um, again, this piece is very, very detailed. Um, just like with all the other Iron Studios pieces. Uh, I love the flow of the cape. I like the little whirlwind. Um, it definitely brings something unique to um, the base work, which all of these Iron Studios pieces have kind of had very unique bases, um, and and they're they're beautiful. So I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer here. We're gonna take a look at the base itself. Now, again, with these other. Um, Battle diorama pieces you can see here. Um, it's definitely got the debris. Sorry about the shaky cam there for a second. Um, from the school, and you can see she's kind of keeping her her destruction <laughs> contained uh, here. But you can see, obviously, there's again the floating books, which I love the detail on the floating books. I mean, you can see the pages are all. They're, they're all like different different sizes, different cuts. Um, we do have some debris from the floor. And again, they, they made it kind of a dirty look um, to the whirlwind. I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to that. It actually, it would look strange if it was just like white leading up to the white in the costume. So I'm going to turn you around here to the front facing of the statue again. And we're going to show you... Just the clean, clean, clean work here uh, on all the white work in this piece. Now, even in the cape here, um, just the, the transitions of the colors are very, very, very well made. So, leading right up to the beautifully, beautifully done face. Um, so, sorry about that. Just a little slip there i was trying to fix the light <laughs> um but yeah she is just she's gorgeous um just the the flow and again there's almost a an elegance to her whole pose her whole presence um there's there's definitely an 
elegance to Storm, and that does fit to her her character. Um, you know, she's someone who, essentially, in the comic books, was a very rough around the edges individual. So, having her like this, um, and just kind of being, you know, calm, cool, and collected here, and then, you know, still looking like gorgeous and elegant. Um, definitely a great, great thing. But again, I really enjoy this piece. Um, I thought she was going to end up one of my least favorites. I was a little nervous again with, with all of this, this weight in the costume. Um, but Iron Studios shows again that especially with this animated series line, I mean, oh my God. The level of care and detail put into these is just phenomenal. And, you know, it is a very big difference from their other lines, which are, you know, like the Avengers and stuff that are, are going to have, you know, over here, your portraits are going to be having to either look exactly like an actor or actress or kind of look like a knockoff version of them, depending on how the sculpt turns out. Um, with the animated series, they don't have to worry about that. And I'll, I'll be damned, like, they kill it. I mean, this is a comic and an animated series accurate storm. I mean, she is just beautiful. Like, I'm going to just do it right here. I'm going to go right here and just show you guys, like, just look at that. Look, look, look at the way just that is. I mean, just, just the posing right here is just gorgeous the the cloak flowing just the the look on her face that she is just going to destroy you and she's going to do it looking good um storm again she just she just has like an elegance to her and it's it's a beautiful beautiful piece so very very happy with this one um but i'm going to take you guys out now give you guys one more look at her right here and her beauty and uh, I'll take you back and give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so that was it for the surprising, surprising, I'm gonna say it's surprising to me, uh, unboxing of the Iron Studios Storm uh, BDS 110 scale. Um, and the reason, again, why I say it was surprising was because I was actually, again, a little skeptical with the, the, the all white costume and just the way Things can go wrong when everything's just that one solid color with your seam work and everything else. And they killed it again, again, again. Iron Studios, mwah, chef's kiss to you guys. Um, This X-Men line has been phenomenal uh, so far. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, every piece has just been so amazing the the level of just care and like detail put into these small actually um you know they're 110 so they're small these these small pieces um the, you 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 have a hard time getting this kind of intricate detail in in things like one quarter scales and stuff like that so it is amazing to see that level of care and detail and just craftsmanship put into a smaller scale piece. Um, again, that's something normally you, you see with one quarter scales, one third scales, you know, even you know, one fifth and one sixth, you get a lot of that fine, fine detail because the pieces are much larger. I mean, you put her next to uh, you know, a quarter scale storm. I mean, a quarter scale storm is gonna be, you know, three, four times the size of this thing. Um, but the level of detail in this smaller scale statue is just, it's phenomenal. It does, it blows my mind um, how well they're able to just piece these things together. Um, and again, the, the level of detail is just, it's phenomenal. Um, everything from this, this little school, the school flooring base here, to the books floating in this, you know, into the whirlwind, the actual whirlwind itself, um, all of it, it just looks great. The the details in her her suit and the muscle tones, 
everything, it just turned out like, oh, I want to just, I want to take a look real quick at this <laughs> up close for myself. Um, but again, like just even you can see if you go in, like when you go in close, you can see the, the stitch work on like her boots. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. It, it is such a beautifully done piece. And again, honestly, I didn't think I was going to be too hyped for her. Um, just because there's so many things again, that could go wrong, uh, with the all white stuff. Sometimes, you know, with the, with two tone costumes, you can kind of find a way to hide things and blend things and stuff like that. White is a very noticeable color as is black. Um, all black costumes, you'll notice any kind of little scuffings and stuff like that too. So, uh, it is very difficult. And again, and her suit isn't textured. So she doesn't have like a textured suit like uh like say Sabretooth had or or Wolverine had with all the different textures or Magneto or Gambit, you know, all these other ones that I've done on the channel that had all these different textures to the suits. So you could, if say there was the paint isn't going well or whatever, the paint application isn't going well, you still have that texturing that can kind of disguise any defects. And I'm not saying that these other pieces have had any defects. All might have been perfect. But I'm saying with a lot of companies, I do see that kind of stuff. So it's very impressive with how clean this one came out. Um, I don't see any seams or any kind of, again, paint kind of overflow. Nothing. Um, she's gorgeous. Uh Definitely a surprise for me. Uh, again, I was I was expecting her to be one of my lower end ones, but she's up there. She's another up. She's another one up there. Um, just because how highly I have rated my top ones in this X Men line. So I mean, I've given tens out to a few of these. Uh, Omega Red, I know I got a ten. Uh, I believe Sabretooth and Gambit were. Pretty Pretty up there. I think I gave them about a nine or a ten. Um, Storm, I know she's definitely above Iceman. She's above Pyro to me. She's actually, I think she might even be above Cable for me as far as what I've unboxed here on the channel. Um, but the the other boys in my collection, I'm gonna scale those a bit higher. Um, could be partially because they're my favorites. Uh, but. She is definitely impressive. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say I highly recommend her. First of all, um, she is fantastic, and she is definitely going to, she's definitely gonna stand out in the display, just for the fact that she is very brightly, she's brightly colored and it's very noticeable. You've got the a lot of browns and reds, and you've got some blues. You know, you, you know, you don't, you don't have any like white bright white costume characters in this lot other than Iceman who's just you know you're you're he's she's clear he's translucent um so I, I'm gonna say she's she's definitely another higher end piece in my opinion uh I'm gonna say I'm gonna give her since since one of my top guys I gave a nine to I'm gonna have to lower her lower than that uh, I'm gonna say probably an 8.5 um she's definitely up there so she is definitely, I'm going to say, a must-have. Uh, she is also part of one of the Sentinels, the, 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 the dioramas. I believe she's part of the, the third one? I may be wrong about that. I'll post an image up here to just slap myself and correct myself if I am wrong. But I thought she was part of one, but I, I could be wrong, actually. I think it's Archangel, Psylocke, Iceman. Yeah, it might be Storm, but I'll correct myself up here if I'm wrong. Um, but again, if you don't want to get those big, gigantic, three foot tall, you know, pieces, or you just don't have the space, um, or they're just too expensive, um, buying all the pieces separately, setting up your own little proxy battles in your own display, uh, definitely works too. So that's what I'm doing. And, uh, and I don't regret it. I like having all the individual pieces. I like being able to put them up where I want, kind of size them up against other characters, like, you know, Wolverine with his his villains. Not sure who I'm going to put Storm up against yet. Uh, she may be going up against Juggernaut for right now with, K with uh, Colossus. But I do have Sauron showing up soon. So when I do get Sauron, 
he's going to be Storm's uh, a big bad there. So looking forward to that one as well. It's going to be a while. He's coming from France. So it's going to be a while for that one to show up. But very excited, excited about the rest of this line. Iron Studios, if anyone's watching from your company, love what you guys are doing with this line. Keep up the good work. Keep giving me all that X-Men goodness. I don't care if you give me every iteration of my favorite characters in this line. I don't care. I love them. They are incredible. Keep up the good work. Um, and just keep churning out this X-Men line because it's fantastic. Uh, go with those obscure characters. Bring us all that stuff. You, you know, I don't care. I love it. I love it. Bring it. Bring it. Okay? These are great pieces the quality is top notch uh you are definitely getting a quality piece for what you're paying i mean this was under she's under 200 dollars at retail price um so you are getting a you are getting a hundred percent gorgeous piece for a, a third of the price of a quarter scale you know so I know you're getting a smaller size, but you are getting that same level of quality here. Um, she is fantastic, as is, again, every other one I have unboxed so far. I have not come away unimpressed by anything in this line. So keep it up. Keep bringing me the X-Men. They are one of my favorites. I would love, love to get some Spider-Man animated proxy pieces or comic book-based pieces to complete like my epic Marvel animated nerdiness fantasy um oh just keep it up it's phenomenal i love the work i love these pieces um i do have quite a few of these left to unbox on hand right now uh psylocke jean gray um scarlet witch emma frost uh, Deadpool, we had a little delay with opening up Deadpool. I know Gigi and I were supposed to do that one together. Um, so I've got quite a few that I still have to do. Um, and I have, there's a lot still I have to get. So uh, there's some that are stuck in transit and uh, whatnot. But there are a lot and there are a lot coming. So keep your eye on the channel if there's any X characters you're looking for. Uh, any other Iron Studios 110s that you guys are looking for that I have not highlighted yet. Uh, let me know. I may or may not have it or have it coming and, uh, and I'll be putting those videos up as well. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked this statue actually as much as I did. And uh, if you do like the content, uh, you can give the usual spiel. Give us a like, follow, share, click the subscribe button down below on YouTube and uh, keep your guys eyes open and ears open on the channel here and on the socials. Um, I did state uh, the other day that we are going to be doing some giveaways. We're going to start doing giveaways um, to kind of signal boost the channel a little bit. Uh, I know right now I'm going to start with the idea of giving away some Sanrio uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. Just something small to start. Uh, we've got things like Funko Pops, uh, blind box figures, and we're doing giveaways for. I have three higher end, kind of more expensive pieces that I'm going to be using for giveaways once the channels hit some milestones. So stay tuned for details on all that. But uh, until next time, uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Come back again for other amazing Iron Studios X-Men pieces. Got some more cool bunny girls to be opening. Got some more cool anime stuff to be opening. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you guys like Storm as much as I do. Uh, again, follow us on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Nerds Ever Sleep. Bye, everybody.